In this video, we're going to take a look at these Hornady Superformance Mono Flex Sabo Slugs for the 12 gauge. According to the box, they're a 2 and 3 quarter inch shell with a 300 grain Mono Flex slug. And here's a little ballistic chart. From the looks here on the back of the box, it kind of just looks like the SST Sabo Slug. So here's the five shells. Monoflex, 19.44 grams. Yeah, even right here, it kind of looks just like the SST slug. In case anybody was wondering, here's the overall lengths of these five shells. Now let's go ahead and cut one of these open and take a look at the components. Okay, we got one cut open. There's our Sabo, which is identical to the Hornady SST Sabo. And here's the slug. And underneath that, inside the Sabo wad, we have this little rubber disc. Just like we did with the SST slug. Although this one is browner rather than black like in the SST slug. But anyways, now that I see the slug outside of the shell, it does look slightly different than the Hornady SST slug. This right here is the SST Sabo slug, and right here is the Monoflex. So they do actually look slightly different. They just both have that red polymer tip. The Monoflex is definitely a larger diameter, although they're both 300 grains. And I believe that's because the Monoflex is a solid copper slug, while the SST is a lead core. So this is probably just like the copper version of the SST slug, I'm guessing. And of course, under our sable wad, we have a gas seal. And I just spilt maybe three grains or so of powder when I got that gas seal out. But that's what that gas seal looks like. And underneath that, our powder. And our slug is coming in with a length of 0.93 inches with a diameter of 0.55 inches. So it's 55 caliber while the SST slug is 50 caliber. Sabo length 1.334 inches and our gas seal 0.273. And its monoflex slug is weighing in at 300.9 grains. The Sabo wad alone 81.4 grains and our gas seal 19 grains. All of the components together, 401.2 grains, and the powder charge. Like I said, I dropped probably about 3 grains, but the remains is weighing 36.4 grains. And here's a closer look at the powder. And the weight of the overall shells, 552.2. 551 even, 551.5, and 550.1. So it doesn't actually say anywhere on the box that it's a copper solid. It just says CA certified non-lead bullets. But right here it says a copper alloy. So obviously it's just a, another one of those copper solid Sabo slugs. But anyways, that's all for the Superformance Monoflex Sable Slug Analysis. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I'll be doing lots of tests with these slugs soon. If there's any particular thing you guys would like to see done with these slugs, or any other type of ammo you would like to see broken down like this, just make sure to let me know. But that's all for now, and as always, thanks for watching.